Hello everyone, this is Miss Chun. After this week's flip book project, I hope everyone have wonderful animals inside. Now I am going to design the fonts in different ways and you can choose which font you want to design your book cover. First, we will write down the name of your book. I wrote, hello, amazing and wonderful people here. Um, you can write the topic of your book, like Miss Chun's amazing animal book or Miss Ashley's cool flip book. So the first step is that you're going to use the pencil to draw the layouts, like what I did here. Make sure that your letters aren't very close to each other since we want to make them into different fonts. After you write down the title of your book and drew the layout with pencil, you can start design your letters. So first, hello, I will making it into bubble letters. This is also the simplest way of making cool fonts that I am going to write a bubble around my letters. Make sure every letter is more or less the same width. Sometimes um, I can adjust the letter spacing a little bit while I do the final touch and I will erase the pencil. This is very important so when we color with markers the lead from the pencil will not smudge. It will create a very clean and neat image. Um, for this bubble letter you can color with colored pencil. I can only color the edges to make a bubble feeling to it. You can also color with markers. You can color with one color. Or you can color with patterns. For example, stripes. I'm gonna use yellow and orange stripes. Or you can mm, do it with polka dots. You can also make the bubble effect with the marker, just leaving some highlight. Now we're going to use another font design for amazing. Um, other than doing the whole letter into bubble letters, I can also make only one side of the letter more thick, like this. So what I'm doing is I'm switching the left side of the letter into a block and everything else remains with thin lines. And you can also color it with different colors. Another really cool way of making font design is you can put a really fun shape behind the letter. For example, I can put a cute cloud behind this letter. You can put uh, one of the animal shapes or some geometric shapes as well. We could also make the letters really playful with different lines and shapes. So you can use wiggly lines, you can use straight lines with dots on the top, You can use straight lines with wiggly lines on top. You can fit an animal inside a D. Or a star inside the E. Or 
I'll make a double line. So the last one, I will do a slight upgrade. We will be making the 3D letter. So the first step was making the 3D letter. Yes, we are going to make it into block letters. After we make the block letters, don't forget to erase the unnecessary pencil lines so our book cover will look really nice and neat and clean. And we will choose where is it going to vanish. This is called a vanish point. I can do it in the middle of the letter. You can either do it on the top or the bottom. So uh, I will be doing it on the top here. So you will be connecting the sides of the letters into this point top first and then you can use a ruler to the bottom This might be a little bit hard for the little kids, but you know, you can try it anyway, if you're interested. Okay? We can also add some patterns on the letters, like clouds, simple ones, flowers, or simple, it can just have colors, and you can color it in the color you like. After you are done and happy with your book cover, you can go ahead and write the name of the author. For example, illustrated by Miss Chen. Okay, and don't forget to bring it to school next week and show a teacher. They will be really proud. See you next week.